day for story time. We post story time videos every Monday and Wednesday morning on our library Facebook page at 1030 a.m. And if you would like even more story time videos, you can check out our website at www.finleylibrary.org for a virtual story time page under our kids pull down tab. So let's get started today. We have a very special story time planned all about kindness and peace. So let's get started. What a beautiful day to explore peace and kindness together. Let's kick off our story time with a song about waving hello. So we're going to wave hello during the song. We're going to share hugs during the song. We're going to say peace during the song. And we're also going to high five. So let's get started. Let's wave hello together. Let's wave hello together. Because it is so kind to do, let's wave hello together. Let's share a hug together. Let's share a hug together. Because it is so kind to do, let's share a hug together. Let's say peace to each other. Let's say peace to each other. Because it is so kind to do, let's say peace to each other. Let's high five one another. Let's high five one another. Because it is so kind to do, let's high five one another. Let's wave hello and share a hug and say peace and high five one another. Let's do all four together because it is so kind to do. Let's wave, hug, peace, high five together. Let's sing, I have a little heart. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. Can you jump? Jump, jump, jump. Good job. I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give a hug or two. You ready to do this again? Okay. We're going to thump, thump, thump. Jump, 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 and look, hug. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give a hug or two. One more time. All right, let's do it. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. Keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give a hug or two. I have a really fun craft planned for you today, and it's called a peace plate. What is peace, though? Do you know? Peace? is a feeling that you get when things feel good and calm, you don't have worries, um, lots of love in your heart. That's a good peaceful feeling. And that's the kind of world we want to share and the kind of feeling we want to give others. So I hope that as you work on this craft, you will think of ways that you can spread peace and kindness in your community. And we'll talk a little bit more at the end about how we can do that. But first with this cool craft, how do we make it? Well, today you will need a white paper plate, some tape like masking tape, duct tape, painter's tape, scissors, and I am using little bingo dabbers in different colors, but you can use dots. You can also use bingo dabbers. You could use um, 
you could use watercolors. Those would look gorgeous too. So let's gather up those supplies and get started. So for making this craft, our first step will be to, this will need some parents' help, I would bet. We will pull off a piece of tape that's long enough to cover from one end of the plate to the other, and then we will use the scissors to cut that piece of tape off. And then this is where the kids come in. You get to pad it down nice and tight to the plate, straight down the middle so that you have two halves of your whole plate. So once you get that big middle stripe, we're going to use the tape again, so we'll need the adult help. And we are going to pull off a piece that's long enough to go from the center of the plate off and down into the side. Once we pull it long and a piece of tape long enough, let's cut it into two pieces. So cut it straight up the middle. Also a good parent job since sticky tape is hard to cut. Then comes the kid job where you get to press that tape down nice and tight to the plate on both sides. I'm gonna make sure we don't leave any gaps. So now that we have our tape on our plate, let's get started. I'm using dabbers and you can use any color that you like to start off with. Just make sure that it's the lighter colors. And same if you're using your paints, you want to avoid using brown or black or really dark colors. You wanna use your lighter ones and then maybe later come in with a darker color here and there. So it doesn't turn muddy and kind of turn all gray or brownish. So you'll dab, dab, dab all over. But remember that you're also going to use other colors, so do leave space for that. So do some. You're covering up all the white, not the taped part, the white part of the plate. And then you can check out another color and dab, dab, dab that all over. And it's okay if your colors touch, if you see mine touch. And that's what makes it look so cool. Then you use another color and dab, dab, dab all over. Don't forget to get around the edge. We'll wanna get around there too. And then I might use one of my darker colors, but I'm going to use this color sparingly, which means not quite as much, just here and there to cover up some of those white spots. See how the blue is here and there, but not everywhere. Yep. After you Put all the colors you would like and you have most all of that white covered up, you're going to let it dry. The hardest part. Now that we've let it dry, let's try pulling up that tape. So you are going to very carefully peel the tape up off of the plate. Now it might happen, you might not be able to see it, but that it pulls up some of your plate with it. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are just having fun and creating a peaceful plate. So keep pulling and keep pulling. You may also notice that some of the color got under your tape. Totally okay too. We're just making a one of a kind art piece here. So after you have pulled up all of your tape, you are all set. You have made a beautiful peace sign today. Do you see that? Yes, that means peace. Now, while you were crafting, did you think about ways that you can spread peace in your community and in your family? I thought of a few. I was thinking about how I really like to help. And whether that's just silly little small things that might seem like they don't mean much, but they mean something like saying please and thank you because everybody likes it when someone's polite to them or you're holding the door for your family or someone who's coming through, you know, just the little things. And those are pretty easy to do each and every day. So I hope that you will keep creating. You can also make other patterns on the paper with, with your um, tape and make other kinds of creations. Please check out our Facebook comments and leave us a picture of what you made or give us some ideas on how to share some time. together. Let's sing if you're kind and you know it. So we are going to clap our hands, turn around, and stomp our feet during this song. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. 
If you're kind and you know it, clap your hands. If you're kind and you know it, clap your hands. If you're kind and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're kind and you know it, clap your hands. If you're kind and you know it, turn around. If you're kind and you know it, turn around. If you're kind and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're kind and you know it, turn around. If you're kind and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're kind and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're kind and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're kind and you know it, stomp your feet. Okay, here's the really fun one. If you're kind and you know it, do all three. Turn around, stomp your feet. If you're kind and you know it, do all three. If you're kind and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're kind and you know it, do all three. Yay, we did it. enjoyed our time together today as we explored peace and kindness and I have, hope you have a nice warm feeling in your heart and that you'll share that with others. If you would like to explore peace and kindness some more please check out our storytime bookshelf or stop into the library and see us and you can also call us for more suggestions. If you would like some more storybook content please check out the library's website. Until next time, keep reading.